Hi guys! Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. And, ako po yung nagbabalik. Pilang ka months, day, wala ko nag- Tugay na po, nga wala ko naka- upload o video sa akong YouTube channel. So, today, uh, let's make a video. Oh, ma! Later! <laughs> Later na! So, kani, balik ta. Magbuhat ta og video about sa um, uh, look na pang bride. So, this season is tingkasal na. Maraming nagpapakasal. So, Ayan, gagawa tayo ng video wherein makalearn tayo how to do your makeup, your own makeup sa iyong kasal. Or mga ideas kung paano or yung anong gusto mong makeup sa special day mo. So, yan. But before that, meron akong bagong Mary Kay brush. Hindi lang. Tama kita. So, ay! Nautok. So, mauni siya ang sulod. There are five brushes. Yan. Dalawang pang overall brush. Then, blush brush. Blush, blush, blush. Lahat isa. And then, meron ding ito, overall brush for the eyeshadow. And then, meron ding angled brush and deep brush. So, ayan, this is my new one. And I have also new beauty blender. Ayan, bigay ni Mami Pat. Super, ano niya, super, um, soft sa face. So, let's get started! So, first, mag-spray tayo, as usual. Ayan. And then, spray din natin ang ating beauty blender. Preparation for later. Ayan. So, now, first na ating gagawin is, syempre, ang ating um moisturizer. Wait lang. Ito. So, if meron kayong discoloration, uh, highly recommended ang paglagay ng uh, CC cream. So, para naman hindi tayo mamukhang haggard sa ating special day. So, first is moisturizer or any serum na pwede nyo gamitin. Apply ating face. Hmm. para maganda ang takbo ng ating araw. And if you're uh, oily, kailangan kang gumamit ng primer para kapit na kapit yung makeup mo. Kaya, hindi ka matatakot mag games. ba syempre meron yung mga games. Ayan. So, oh! So, ayan, next is ready na tayo for our Mary Kay. So, uh, for now naman, maganda naman yung, ano, yung status ng skin ko sa face. So, diretso na ako. After using my serum, diretso na ako sa aking foundation. Just putting a little bit. And then, uh, tayo na dito ito ang UV cleanser. So, medyo basa siya. Ito, ito galing sa Mary Kay. Uh, dapat basa ito ang UV cleanser.
when you hold the one that's your eyes So next na ating gagawin is concealer dito banda. Kasi most of the time, dito talaga na area yung T-zone natin. Diyan talaga nag, uh, lumalabas yung mga oils. So, ayan. So, I'm using this concealer. Again, yung concealer na ginagamit ko. So, highlight na lang din. So, yan area lang talaga yung nagawa natin ng um, concealer. Yan. So, try to blend it out. Make sure na walang patches. Para pag-apply natin later on ng um, powder, purong-puro siya. Ayan. Super nice ng beauty blender na ito. And look at that. Wala siyang masyadong ina-absorb na products. Unlike this one, yung isa ko, tingnan nyo, puro products. And, hindi siya gano'ng kapsaw. Ayan. Ayan. And then, right now, we... We're going to bake this area. Yan. Kukunin ko lang yung pang bake ko. Here. So, I'm using Mary Kay Translucent Powder. Super nice nito. And later, meron akong tips na ibibigay sa inyo. So, kuha lang tayo. Konti lang. Yan. And then, bibake natin. Using Beauty Blender pa rin. Super nice. Ayan. And then save this one later. And then let's move on to our tea light. Ang kilay. Yeah. So, magkilay tayo mga beshi. Using this pencil. The pencil yung tayo. It's time. So, dapat hindi masyadong makapal. Ang ating kilay na. Ayan. Hindi natin siya masyadong kapalan. And then, dito naman. Hindi na masyado makapal yung kiwi for the bride but settle lang hindi siya dapat magmukhang buka baka na napakaspesyal na araw yan Hanggang lang siya. And then, ibabrush natin siya. Wapag set na lang. 
Jesus Christ is the Lord. Then, then the brush. So, mas maging yung ano sa ito. Ayan. And then, do it on the other side. Ang baligod na ito. Hindi siya masyado makapal. And don't worry dyan sa mga excess na yan kasi Meron na lang tayong concealer to cover it up. Ayan. Parang natural lang. Ayan. And if you desire to put um, eyebrow mascara, then you can do it. So now, let's clean, 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 clean the edges of yeah, edges. So I'm using my mirror from Mary Kay. Yeah, it's so cutie. And then Clean it. Yan. Para. Perfect. Ayan. So perfect. Wait guys. May nag-detect. Oh. Alright. Ayan. And if you desire to define this area more, yeah, but may langaw. Ayan. So, mas na-define nyo yung aking brow. So, do it. This side. And... Okay, I'll just... Yan na. Diba? Mas de ma-define niya yung ating brow. So, next nito is mag-eyeshadow na tayo. So, ngayon, ito na yung pinaka-the best part sa ating makeup tutorial, which is ang ating eyeshadow. Yan. So, first, kasi nga, hindi pwedeng masyadong bold yung makeup natin, no? kasi nga, um, wedding siya. So, most probably, yung makeup na ginagawa during that time is um, yung manipis lang. Yung parang walang makeup pero meron. Yun yung gagawin natin ngayon for our eyeshadow. So, first, hanap tayo ng parang uh, light like this. Like this one. And then, apply natin all over our eye area. Uh, please, matawag dito. Yeah. So, apply. Yeah. Mostly kapag wedding, uh, yung mga makeup artist ginagawa nila is yung mga shine, shine, shine na ano, eyeshadow. Pero if you want to look matte, you can do it naman. Pwede ka naman mag-request sa yung makeup artist that you have. Yan. So, all over the eyes. Look at that one yung mga tawag dito, kiss, eyes, at yung And then, I have here, ito. Ito siya. Hindi ko na alam kung ano ito. Uh, hindi ko alam, basta ito. So, ito yung mga colors niya, pastel. So, I'm gonna use this one to apply this area. Ayan. Medyo, peachy-peachy yung gagawin natin. So, pwede rin na yung makeup mo nagadepende sa kung ano yung concept or uh, motif ng yung kasal. So, like me, uh, garden wedding yung kasal namin. And then, yung motif is silver and maroon. So, yung makeup ko is para siyang nude lahat yung makeup ko. Yes. Actually, actually, request ko rin naman yung makeup. 
Yes. But you can use ano? You can light. Uh, you can use light makeup for your eyes and uh, your face. But your lips, you can be. Uh, or you can use bold colors like red, yeah, maroon, or bold pink. But for me, I really wore nude lipstick during the time. Ano siya ang itsura niya, guys? So, mura siya, na, mura siya wala, pero actually naa. Ah. I don't know if you notice the screen, pero actually naagit siya. Ayan, so, tapos na akong gumamit dito for this area. And now, balik tayo dito. Kuha tayo ng kulay brown. So, pwede kayo, if marami kayong um, brush, you can use your brush. But for me, ito lang naman yung brush ko. And I don't want to use my Mary Kay muna as of now. So, now, I'm gonna use this brush. Parang maliit lang siya. Para mas makadol natin yung color. And I'm gonna use this one. Parang brown siya na may halong pink. Ayan. Nandiyan. Ayan. That one. We will use this as our color transition. And then yung... Ayan. And then later, we will contour it this area. So, we blend natin using this ano, brush, blending brush for eyes. Yeah. So, if you notice, meron na siyang transition color. And then, do it on uh, this area. Actually, for you, we'll blend it all. Yeah. Then, I'm gonna blend it. So, blend it well talaga para maganda yung result niya. <laughs> this is not that blending brush. Ayan. Kita nyo yan. So now, so tama na yan siya, no? And I'm gonna use dark na for our contour. For our eye contour. So I'm gonna use this Mary Kay Chrome of Fusion Eyeshadow. Cinnabar. Cinnabar yung ano niya. Shade niya. This one. Ano ka tayo na to? Ayan. Ayan. Ayan siya. So, I'm gonna use this brush again. And then, Kita nyo yun lang. Yan. So, ganyan lang. So, this area lang talaga. Ayan. Ayan. Kita nyo. Oh, yan. Yan. Then blend it out. Yeah. So we're done with our eye. Ah, dito sa dito banda. And then let's move on to our um, under eye. So sa under eyes naman, let's use this one para mas define yung dito natin. And I'm gonna use this brush. Yeah. Ano siya? Parang flat top. Flat ah uh, flat brush. Tapay din yata dito. And for your eyes, guys, ganyan na kong tip. For dito, if gusto nyo may shimmer-shimmer, you can use your highlighter or any, uh, any, dito, anything na may shimmer, as long as mababagay dyan sa ano, or sa motif nyo. So, for now, I'm gonna use this one, para dito na area sa ilalim, yan, sa inner part. Itong color white na may shimmer. Okay. Apply ko lang yung kaunti. Yan. Finish your finger. To tap it. Tap it. Tap, tap, tap it. Yeah. Yeah, so, nanapit na tayo, matapos. So, ngayon, gagawin ko is, 
mug eyeliner. Here is my eyeliner. Where is my eyeliner? Here is my eyeliner. So, yan. So you can use wing liner or yung natural, depende sa inyo. But for now, I'm gonna use uh, wing liner, pero hindi naman yung over over na wing. So now, post na tayo sa ating eyeliner. Let's move on to our mascara. So now, if ever ayaw nyo mag-mascara, hindi, uh, hindi kayo sanay ng false eyelashes, you can use your mascara na parang magpo-falsies lang kayo. So first, gonna curl our lashes. Ayan, curl na. Ayan. So, now, ito yung takes ko. Lagyan natin ng translucent powder yung ating look. Yung ating eyelash. Para mas mag, mas maglenten siya. And at the same time, mag-volumize yung ating eyelashes. Oh my gosh. No! Then, sa baba. Ayan. Then, let's now put our mascara. So, I'm using this mark from Avon. Um, bead and Multiply Volume Mascara. So, naka-sale ito. Pabili ko. Don't know now. So, meron siyang uh, lengthening area. This one. And this side is for volume. Okay, let's apply. Yeah, next one for following the nails. Then the nails. Yeah, so para ka nang nagpo false eyelashes. Yeah, and then lang ang ating. Then do it on this side. So hindi naman necessary na lahat ng and then do it on the other side. Next for volume. And next for lengthening. Kita niyo yan? Oh my gosh. So, yan po yung work ng ating translucent powder. Yan. So, we are done with our eyelashes. Oh no, bakit pala. Sa bandang dito. We're done with our mascara. Para ka lang nagpo false eyelashes o oh, ang daas na. No. Ayan. So, if you don't want to false eyelashes kasi nga mayroong tao na hindi sanay magpo false eyes, nagbibigatan yung mga mata nila so you can use these things. And now, let's move on to our whole whole face baking using this sobra kanina. Mm -hmm. So, I suggest na if sa so wedding if, if, if wedding ano siya, if wedding makeup siya, I suggest not to use contour for face instead uh, blush on or any blush on na hindi masyadong pink parang hindi masyadong dirty yung ating face tingnan or if yung pro na masyado pwede naman din if ikaw ay pro na masyado but for now I'm gonna use only this one from uh, powder blush eto meron siyang ganitong color yung parang nude color so ito lang yung gagamitin ko for our contour supposed to be our contour and mix with this blush para isahan na
Ayoko na mag gumamit na ng contour contour para isa ka na sila. Ayan. I love to see my cheeks na ano sobrang chubby. A little bit here, here, and here. Then now, let's move on to the best part, which is the highlighting. I highlight our here. Oh, area, this area. Oh, and then this area, and then. So now, magli lipstick na tayo. And ang gagawin ko sa ating lipstick, I'm gonna use nude lipstick, which is from Everbelena. Para siya, our color niya is C02 City Romance. Ayan. So, napakadark ito and matte lipstick siya para matagal matagal. Para siyang maroon na mayroong pagka brown. Maling ko sa aking pinsan. Hinigay niya, hiningi ko. So that one. So, ayan ang aking lipis. And pinatungan ko lang siya ng uh, Chuk Chuk from Vice Cosmetics. Ayan. So, So, parang ganito na color yung motif ko sa amin. our final look for today so you can probably use any hairstyle you want but for me I choose to style my hair like this kasi gusto ko uh, malinis tingnan yung aking face Ayan. and we're ready to wear our long gown Ayan. so depende rin naman ito sa ating gown na gagamitin or ating motifs or um, concept na ating gagawin. So, if you desire to have a wedding, I mean, beach wedding, yun. So, you can have your curly curly hair or if you desire to have your, or to have a garden wedding, then you can use yung meron tayong flower crown. Yun. And if formal naman, like sa loob ng simbahan or any indoor, or uh, I mean in any closed door na concept ng iyong wedding, you can tie your hair or you can use something-something dyan. So, ang mga hairstylist na ang may alam yan. But for me, I want to look like this. So, unfortunately, yung kasal namin, nasira yung hair ko. Sa sobrang pagmamadali namin, kasi late na kami sa aming time na ibinigay ng aming coordinator. So, probably, I want to stay fresh all day on that special day. So, um, Gagawin natin ang lahat para maging stay beautiful, stay pretty throughout the day. So, ayan. So, if you wish na this makeup will remain or will stay the same, at the end of the day, you can use this um, translucent powder and then finishing spray. Kasi, pag mag-finishing spray, mas lalo niyang ina-absorb. And mas magandang, oh my gosh, mas magandang tingnan ang ating face. So, mag-finishing spray tayo. Oh my god. Ano ba itong hangin na ito? Ayan. So, mag-finishing spray tayo. 
if wala kayong finishing sp- or uh, face mist or ano bang tawag dito, makeup fix, you can use water para mag-absorb yung ating makeup. So, nakuha ko yan sa kay Anna K. Anna K. na makeup tutorial sa YouTube. So, yan yung tips na ibinigay niya. We can use the water for our fix. Make a fix. Yan! And then, let it dry. And then, boom! Ito na ang ating makeup look for today. So, I hope, guys, you like this. Yeah. And I hope marami kayong natutunan. So, ang pinaka-importante lang na gagawin natin sa ating makeup look. First, hindi masyadong bold yung makeup natin. Natural lang. Fresh. Yung pa-fresh lang na makeup look. And second, use primer if you have an oily face. Para throughout the day, uh, hindi bibigay yung ating makeup. And then use... Um, trustworthy products, especially sa ating foundation kasi ito yung, ito yung foundation sa ating, ating makeup. So, pag bibigay ang ating foundation, lahat yan bibigay na. And then, next one, you should use kiss-proof na lipstick para throughout the day, hindi siya mawawala. Especially pag uh, kakain na kayo. Uh, wala na tayong time na mag-retouch. So, ayan. You can use, or you should use Kiss Proof or Matte Lipstick. And the next is, you or we should use, oh my god. If you have, or if you don't want to wear any eyelashes, so you can use these tricks. No. So, para magmukha kang nag, nag suot ng false eyelashes, you need this translucent powder. Ayan, translucent powder. And then, mascara. So, hindi siya, hindi siya mag-work if hindi translucent powder yung, yung gagamitin. So, I don't know with others, but as I have observed, hindi siya mag-work. Kapag trans, hindi translucent powder yung, binaga, yung gagamitin. So, if you ask, saan ko ito? Nabili sa Mary Kay lang po. And if you want this, just PM me and I'll give you one. Siyempre, babayaran. So, maraming use itong ating translucent powder. You can use it as a highlight na rin dito. Yan, sobrang nice niya. At hindi siya bibigay talaga throughout the day. So, ayan. Ayan lang yung tips na may bibigay ko for this video. I hope you guys like it. Please, like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. God bless everyone. Bye!